high blood pressure. If you are suffering from high blood pressure, I'm going to give you a little tips and ideas what you can do at home and it will help to release, reduce it. All right? Now, but, but you need to change your diet. Okay? It is important for you to change your diet and eat healthy. But if you're suffering from high blood pressure and you want to eat a little bit healthy and you want to try and see if you can go down, you know what I mean? This is for you. Okay? This is for you. So first of all, you need to have a blender. All right? Yes, Craig, um, the, yeah, man, the garlic, the, the cloves and the garlic is powerful. But some people can't get that one. It's very hard to get. You know what I mean? A lot of people are saying, why? They can't get the cloves. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a recipe today where I'm gonna help them a lot. Because you have to look after the audience, you know what I mean? Especially when you are in the kitchen and you can do certain things to help your own beautiful peoples, then we have to do that, all right? All right. Now, this is gonna be for you, okay? So first of all, what you're gonna need to do is go to your supermarket or your local shop and get some organic garlic. So that's the garlic into the blender. Right on that recipe, guys high blood pressure medication all right from chef ricardo and then after you do that one all right get a little piece of a ginger all right not too much ginger just a little piece of a ginger all right little piece of a fresh organic ginger all right this right there and then you're gonna get um half a lemon or lime you can use lime squeeze out that juice out of it like this all right and then squeeze it out like this and put it down in it like this all right yeah Then what you're gonna do next, you're gonna go to your local shop or your supermarket and you just tell them that the chef Ricardo sent it. All right? You say to them, this chef on YouTube sent it to come and get this organic cucumber. All right? Just tell them that the chef said to you, so you need organic cucumber. Where can I get it? And they sell organic stuff in some of the supermarket and nowadays because they recognize that people are eating more healthy and they are changing their diet so all right now once you do that you're gonna get cucumber all right you see this is very very good guys all right this is powerful Put it into the blender like this, all right, just like that. And now you don't have to even have to add any water to it, you just add a little bit of water, just a little bit of water, not too much, all right. This is for the high blood pressure person, but. Change your diet, it is important. Okay? You can have high blood pressure and eat the same food. It's not good. And the doctor put you on medication and you still eat certain kind of food. You need to change your diet. Alright? This is it right here. Now, what we're going to do, make some noise. So quick and easy. All right. Once you do that, all right. Then yeah, pour it out like this. All right. Now, you got another option where you can also do to help you to, you know what I mean, 
as I said, it is important for you to eat healthy and change your diet. Stop the rice, stop the bread, stop the pasta, stop the flour, all of those kind of food, you know what I mean? Kind of help to spark your high blood pressure up. So basically, be careful of the kind of season what you're using, all right? You want to change your diet a little bit. Start to eat a lot of more vegetables and, you know what I mean, consume a lot of salads and all of these things and, you know what I mean, those healthy juice, consuming a lot of turmeric, ginger, lemon, pineapple, all of those things will help to slow down your high blood pressure and, you know what I mean, make you can get to function a little bit more better because your body is like a car. If you're running out of gas with your car, a red light come on the dashboard, is it? Yes. Okay. Now, if if your car is overheat, a red light come on. Yes, a red light come on, and it a tell you say um, you need to start out. You need some water. It's the same thing with your body. You know, what I mean, a lot of people when they go to the toilet and they have taken fifteen minutes in the bathroom and twenty minutes and thirty up to two hour can't have a flow to go good. Your body is saying you need water, you need fiber, you need to sort out your immune system. It's the same thing with a car. When a car is run overheated, is this a red light come on the dashboard telling us, listen, you need to stop at the next special station and get some um, fluid thing to put into cool or radiator water. It's the same thing with your body. All right. I was watching that doctor man, and he was I was saying he was telling a lot of people when you. When you're going through certain things, they see the sign them come, but a lot of people, they turn away blank and the sign them when the sign is there. Sometimes your body is saying you need to change your, change your diet. You know what I mean? Sometimes your body is saying you're tired, you need to rest, you need to relax. Sometimes your body is saying so many things, but you know what I mean? We're not picking up the signs them, you know what I mean? The signs them are coming out just like a plant in your kitchen or in your house or outside in the garden. You know what I mean? If your plant is going down a certain kind of way, you're going to say, wow, I need to put some water on my plant. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're, if you're planting something and it's not growing right, you're going to figure out why it's not growing right. It's the same thing with your body. When you're not functioning right, when you're not moving properly, when you feel tired, when you feel stressed, all of these things, it is a sign. You need to take action. And only thing can cause enough of us is what you're consuming in your stomach, in your belly, in your tummy, in your, you know what I mean? What are you doing to yourself? Overwork your body. All right? Now, your body is like, it, when you're overworking your body, it's like a car wheel. If we overwork the tire on the car, it's going to get wear down and it's going to come off of the road or something going to happen. It's the same thing with your body. All right? Now, I'm, I'm just giving you a little bit of highlight uh, what's going on but you know what i mean you can see the signs of your body when you are not functioning right guys pick up the red flag them and work with the red flag them but changing your diet is one of the most important thing you could ever do a good vibes now if you think i'm wrong then leave your comments